I'm going to be demonstrating drawing with some uh, charcoal and some white pastel. I'll be using compressed charcoal, charcoal with a K, or a big, it's a big stick of soft charcoal, and white pastel, and a white vinyl eraser. Um, I have white vinyl in two different formats. This used to be a rectangular larger eraser, and then this is a uh, kind of pencil type eraser that I like to use. So if you have one of the larger rectangular type of erasers, ideally for this particular project and also in the future, uh, it's a good idea to cut this down into a point. I like to make it with an X-Acto knife into a kind of peak that looks like a house, like a roof of a house. That way I have a sharper point to work with. You could also just cut it uh, diagonally and have one sharp edge. But that's what I like to do. Uh, so first I'm just going to do a sketch of this particular plant with the compressed charcoal material. Okay, then I'm going to smear it with my finger. All right, so now we're going to try to use some uh, of these other materials. We're going to use some of this stick charcoal to actually get in some values. I'm going to look at where it's a little darker and try to make some value in those areas. And now I'm going to take some of my white pastel and try to work that a little bit into this drawing. Bear in mind that um, if you use your white pastel, it will make gray if it blends with the charcoal. So if you want areas purely white, it's best to avoid drawing them at first. And just go back in with the white pastel when you want to get your highlights. And then I like to go back in with the compressed charcoal and try to bring out things that might be missing, might have disappeared a little bit in my drawing. Sharpen up some things I feel like they're not quite clearly defined. I use my finger quite a bit to create a sense ideally of energy, but if you use it too much, then you will just have a blurry mess. So you have to be careful. And now the eraser. So if you get a blurry mess and you need to get out of it, <laughs> you can use your eraser to pull out some values again and erase things back. You can also use your eraser. Did you see how this kind of, the eraser creates a mark which goes off the page? This is kind of exciting and you can use your eraser to create some marks that can give your work more energy. You have to be kind of forceful about this. But you see how pretty that is where it kind of disappears a little bit? You cut in with your eraser and allow some of that to happen. And maybe I'll, <laughs> now I just got rid of that part that was so cool. All right, so I'll just leave that part there. Use my eraser maybe to pull out some of the stem to give it a little more energy there. And maybe even up there. And look and see what I have. And if I want to sharpen anything up, I can go back in with my compressed charcoal. Or back in with my, um, this is my white pastel, which isn't looking that white anymore, but you can go back in with your white pastel too. I go back in and work on this just a little bit more. 